brown the chicken. in coconut oil. And I'm going to put in the onion. I'm recording this. I need two of these little spoons or one or Just two. fill it up. Oh, okay. Yeah. I didn't know. yeah. So here's the onion sauteing. And Mike just rolled, if you want more lemon juice in your lemon, you just roll it on the table. Ooh, is that sucker ever juicy? Well, I was talking for probably a good three or four minutes. I have no idea where I should think quit talking or quit recording. So anyways, I put some chicken, better than chicken bouillon, in with the onions to help give the onions a little bit more flavor. And it's browning up, which is good. And I have three whole garlic cloves I'm putting in here. I'm not chopping them up. Now I'm going to put my chicken thighs back in. Okay, so the chicken thighs are laying on top of the onion and the garlic, and I just threw that half lemons in here, and I have probably about six ounces of water, and I'm going to cover them up, and I saved my lemon juice, I'll use that later with my sauce. Was filling up the um, Himalayan pink sea salt, so I'm just gonna throw it in there. All right, so we're gonna put this on a slow cook, and I think I won't put it back in. I just throw it away. Okay. Yeah. Once I step on it, I don't think you want it. No. Put these potatoes in here. I'm trying to do a one dish. It's supposed to be 101 degrees in here in this area today. Oops, oops. Oops. Take a washer. Now, if this was uh, winter time, I would definitely be putting this in the oven. All right, so that there is my, oh, here. That's what it looks like. 
So it's 12 o'clock, and this is probably going to cook for at least hour, hour and a half, two hours. Doesn't really make any difference to us. So we'll be back when we're doing something else. So the chicken, I don't know if can you see that chicken over there? I got the chicken and the potatoes in my bowl. And I put my flour in my gravy. The onions are still in there with the garlic. Just like that. Oh, and we're going to need the olives out, Mike. So, it looks like I have probably two tablespoons of flour. I mean, two tablespoons of fat. See how that works. Cook the fat with the flour. Lots of brown stuff on the bottom. That'll all come up. Then, okay, cooking the flour, onion. So this is another onion gravy, but with the chicken and the lemon. Just a little bit more, not much. Oh, that's perfect. Now for my milk. I always smell my milk before I pour it because you never know when your milk's going to go bad. that I didn't squish up, which will cook into this. So we got the flavor of the lemon, the flavor of the onion, flavor of the garlic. Oh, that's looking really good. A little bit more milk. Oh, it's probably going to end my milk. Oh, milk is emptied. Oh, here, Mike. Can you throw that away? Please. Thank you. If I would have went to the store, I would have got heavy whipping cream. Well, rinse it out if you're going to hold on to it. Because it has milk. That yeah, all your recyclables. Yeah. Oh, that's looking really good. And if you notice, the bottom of my can, all of the brown stuff has been taken off. Now here is, this is too thick. I don't really like it that thick. Now here's the fun part. I have corn cooking back here, and it's starting to get warm. So it has hot water. So just use some hot water in here. Thin it down. Oh, look at that gravy. A little bit thinner. 
and turn the corn on. Mike, could you get me a little teaspoon, please? So teaspoon. Yeah, so I can taste this. Oh, golly gee. Doesn't that look gorgeous? Thank you. Want me to cut your olives? Nope. Nope. Okay. Oh man, that is like perfect. Business. Nice and handy, handy. Nice and handy, huh? Yeah. And we still got one, two, three. in that by where your kombucha always goes. Me and my friend, yeah. Sure. 